What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video, this is a donation request. This is for Matt. This is Opeth. Wow, bring him back Opeth. This is the song Godhead's Lament. If you're new here, please subscribe, check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos, check it out. If you like the channel, want to support the channel, all kinds of ways you can get super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct in the description. I got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wishlist, mailing address, and I do donation requests just like this one. So if there's something you want me to watch, listen to talk about, hit me direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo in the notes section. Leave a link, leave a description. Let me know what you want the video to be on. Make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. Thank you guys. Okay, so this is off of their fourth album, Still Life, from 1999. And I don't think I've done any songs off of this album. I don't think I've done any songs off of this album. Just seven songs. What does Matt say? Matt says something. He says, first up is the song uh, Godhead's Lament from their Still Life album. One of my favorite albums, concept album that tells a story about a man returning to his village to be with the woman he loves after being cast out. It's not really happy story. And generally, I'd say you should listen to this album start to finish as it's really a mood album. This song is brutal and chaotic for a while before changing to more melodic and then get getting chaotic again. Classic Opeth. Okay. Get some lights going in here. Did you like the blue better? Should I have kept it blue? Maybe? Yeah, I'll keep it blue. <laughs> All right, so this is a Godhead's Lament, which is the second song on the album. Let's get to this. Bam.
starts to have like a folky feel. All right? So, you know, this band is a lot of, it's lots of riffs, right? It's about riffs. Uh, the thing that I noticed about this was, you know, usually they have those longer intros and also those like classic outro riffs. 
there wasn't either of those in this song. This is in six, so it's kind of like how it's moving around. And then when it gets all acoustic, it gets more of that like kind of folky feel to it, right? It was cool. Yeah, just riff stuff. This It didn't jump out at me. I think there was uh, other Opeth songs that I was more into. It wasn't bad. You know, It's it sounds like Opeth. You know, this just sounds like them. That whole progressive metal crazy riffs and runs that are like parts of the licks and with the with the vocals that are going right they're still in that in-between phase where it's like the heavy cookie monster stuff and the more singing stuff i feel like i would probably like more of the singing stuff i think i've said that before i don't know why i i, I don't know why i'm not sure maybe just because i like his singing stuff like there's some singing stuff of his that i've that we've done that i have just liked but this was fine. This is cool. Concept album that you gotta that would be best to listen from top to bottom. Everything sounds fine. What else about this album? Anything? 2014 Team Rock put Still Life at number 83 of their top 100 greatest prog albums of all time. Still regarded by many fans as a career high point. Still Life's deft blend of beauty and brutality was lauded by metal and prog fans. Opeth's first true classic. Interesting. Wow. Loudwire placed the album at number 54 on their top 90 hard rock and heavy metal albums of the 90s. List commenting that Opeth closed out the 90s with their strongest album yet. In 2021, it was named one of the 20 best metal albums of 1999 by Metal Hammer magazine. Okay. All music called Still Life, a formidable splicing of harsh, often jagged guitar riffs with graceful melodies. Yeah, yeah, I can hear that just off of this one song. Due to time constraints, the band was able to rehearse only twice before entering the studio. Delays with the album's artwork pushed the release back an additional month, and the album was released in Europe under the Peaceful Snapper label. Okay, 99. Due to problems with the band's new distribution network, the album was not released in America until... 2001? Jesus. What? <laughs> That's nuts. That's over a year later. My God. Damn, ni October 1999 to February 2001. Yo, somebody's fired. Okay, um, concept album. Uh, Michael explains, Still Life was not satanic, but an anti-Christian theme. It sounds pretty naive when I explain it like this. It kind of takes place a long time ago when Christianity had a bigger importance than it has today. The main char character is kind of banished from his hometown because he hasn't got the same faith as the rest of the inhabitants there. Um, pretty much starts off when he is returning after several years to hook up with his old babe. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of bad things start happening with, as I call it on the album, the council. The big bosses of the town know that he's back. A lot of bad things start happening. They see him as a hypocrite in a way. It's almost like a devil's advocate or whatever it's called. The album then proceeds to portray Melinda's proclamation of love towards the protagonist. These events lead to her murder and the main character going on a rampage against the ones responsible. The last song of the album, White Cluster, concludes the story with his execution and him meeting Melinda in the afterlife. Okay. There we have it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like Opeth fashion, it goes from like no different than what Matt said, like the heavy stuff to the lighter stuff to the heavy stuff. You know, they're very, they do the, everything that I've heard so far for the most part, they kind of do that and it's very like cinematic, especially with like a concept kind of song, kind of album, So I should say, sorry. The concept kind of album, you're gonna have those things. Progressive metal as opposed to like progressive rock makes me think of like dream theater or whatever where this is like way heavier than that I mean a dream theater can get heavy, but This is different <laughs> James Lebrie is not doing this. He is not doing this. So cool. All right I think we got another uh, Opeth coming up. So be on the lookout for that catch you in the next video